Welcome to How to Pay Bills in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. Uh, before we get started, hey, if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel. I uh, learn a lot of great things here. I've got a ton of videos uh, going back a number of years and different versions of QuickBooks, QuickBooks Online, etc. So make sure to subscribe and be alerted every time I do a new video. All right, so paying bills in QuickBooks. Now, this video, first of all, uh, assumes that you enter bills in QuickBooks. If you don't currently use this function in QuickBooks, then this video will be absolutely no help. Now, I would encourage you, though, to use this function in QuickBooks, especially if you need to track your business, understand where things are. You really want to learn how to enter the bills correctly. And I've got videos on this on the channel, and you can search and find those. Uh, but then also how to pay the bills. All right, so I'm going to give you some kind of best practices, not only show you how to pay the bills, but also a couple best practices to follow when you are paying bills in QuickBooks. All right, so here we are on the home screen. And uh, you'll see here we've got the flow chart. And if you look under vendors, you're going to see there's the enter bills and then the pay bills. All right, so this flow chart is designed to help you kind of navigate around in QuickBooks and understand the flow of information. So first you enter bills and then you pay bills. You can also get to the pay bills function up here under the vendor drop down menu. You'll see it right there, pay bills. All right, so let's say you have gone through, you have entered your bills, you got everything entered correctly, you go to pay bills. And you, what you really want to do in your business, or if you're, you know, a bookkeeper for a business, whatever the case may be, is you, you got to set up a schedule. You know, so if you are paying your bills, um, you know, let's say once a week, do it the same day every single week. Could be Fridays, could be same day as, you know, payroll days, whatever the case may be. But you want to get on this schedule. Otherwise, you're going to waste a lot of time just going in and out, paying bills, etc. All right, so we get to this pay bill screen. You'll see here we've got a couple of things uh, that are important. So first of all, you've got the option here to show all bills or just show bills due on or before a certain date. All right, so that's totally your preference, whatever you want to do. So if you're only going to be paying bills before a certain date, you know, then only show them before that date. Otherwise, it can get a little bit uh, confusing, maybe a little bit cluttered. Now, the next thing is you can filter this, all right? So if you want to filter this uh, by uh, different criteria, you can do that. You can see here we've got it filtered by vendor. Now, that is not very helpful to me unless I'm looking for a specific bill. That way I can just quickly look up where they are. I like to do it by the due date, all right? So that way I can see, okay, what's coming due soon? What do I have to pay? If I'm mailing checks, do I need to account for time to mail these checks? If I'm paying electronically, you know, sometimes, you know, the online bill pay takes a couple days to deliver. Sometimes they're immediate. Uh, but at least I can see what this due date is to understand which bills I have to pay. All right, down here, you're going to see a listing of all the bills, uh, the bill number, invoice that they call it a reference number. There's a discount date if you get a discount, amount due discount use, credits, and then the amount to pay. So you'll see here, if I place a check mark under Dago Lighting, it's going to carry over the 1539 over to 1539 over here for the amount to pay. So let me uncheck that and show you the rest of the bills screen here. Down here, of course, you can select all bills. Uh, you can go to the bill. So if you have a question, if you look at this, it could be that somebody else enters these bills for you and you go in to pay the bills you can go to the bill. So if I click this, it's gonna take me to this Timberloft Lumber, and I'm gonna be able to see what items were classified for this bill and what job it went to, et cetera. Okay, so I'm gonna close this out. So if you ever have any questions, you can go straight to that bill. The terms you'll see down here, this is set up in the vendor center. Number of credits and total credits available. This will show you if you have credits on this particular vendor's account. And if you do, then you can click set credits, apply the credit to the bill, and you'll see it up here in this credit used. Down here, the payment date, this is going to default to today's date. If you need to change that, of course you can. Payment method, if you click this, you'll see you can do it by various methods. Uh, you can set up your own methods. Uh, we're going to do this by check. And you can see here, to be printed or assigned check number. So if you print checks from QuickBooks, you would say to be printed. 
If you do not print checks from QuickBooks, let's say it's an online bill payment, or maybe you handwrite a check, you're going to choose assign check number. I'm going to leave that here, and then that way I can show you what to do once we pay these bills. And then, of course, you want to specify the correct account that these uh, checks are going to be cashed out of or the payments are going to come out of. All right, so we have all this set up, and we say, okay, we're going to go ahead and pay, uh, let's say that we're going to pay all of these bills through, let's say, through the end of the year. So we check all these off. And we say, all right, so this total here is going to be 12418 you know, but the, the thought process, kind of a best practice, is, is to really think about cash flow, too, and you think about, okay, what's going to be coming in? Uh, do we have payroll coming up? Are there other things that we need to be taking care of or thinking about? And so in that situation, you can either go in and you can uncheck certain bills, or what you can do is just pay part of a bill. So let's say this bill right here, you know, we talked to the vendor, Perry Windows and Doors, and we said, hey, we can send you 1500 bucks right now. We'll pay the rest of it next week. So all you have to do is go and highlight this number, 2325. You're going to type in 1500 and it will pay $1,500 of this bill. And it will keep track of that so that you only have $825 left to pay. So next time you go into pay bills, it'll show $825. It's a pretty handy tool. All right, so we've got all our bills that we're going to pay, and we've checked everything down here. I don't see any credits. Let me go through here and see if I have any credits on any of these bills. Okay, I don't see any credits available. All right, so we are going to payment date, assign check number, and we're going to pay the selected bills. All right, so this, this screen comes up here, and you have the option to choose. How do you want to assign check numbers? You can let QuickBooks assign them, or and they'll just do it in chronological order, or you can assign them yourself. Now, what I always do when I pay online banking, and you can do it any way you want, you can type anything into this field, is I say EFT. So if these are all online bill pays, I know that to me, this signifies that these are EFTs, okay? Electronic funds transfer, a bank payment. I'm gonna click okay. All right, so now it says uh, payment summary and it shows you all the payments that were made and you can either go back and pay more bills uh, uh, or you can print, all right? Print all these uh, bill payment stubs. All right, I'm going to cancel this. So that's the essentials. That's how you pay bills in QuickBooks. It's a pretty straightforward process. Now, if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, I've got a, a couple of great videos there that really walk you through the top mistakes that most people make when they use QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. Check it out at qbuniversity.org.